Ollie Bridge is a health and wellbeing expert. Now, your background is fascinating. Tell me a little bit about your um, your sporting background. Well, I knew I was never going to be good enough to play a sport myself professionally, so the best thing I could do was support the people that could. So uh, I'm an exercise physiologist by background. I trained at the English Institute for Sport, and I had the sort of joy of working with Benetton and Renault Formula One with the drivers there, uh, with um, the England rugby team, with some mountain bikers, um, and then finished up working with the British Olympic gymnast team, both male and female. You've taken the knowledge that you learned from that field and you're bringing it into the corporate uh, world. What's your main goal at the moment? My goal is to help take all of the learnings that I got from working with athletes and say, hey, corporate athlete, you deserve just as much focus, just as much attention to make sure that you can perform at your peak. And your performing at your peak may be being able to get to the dance recital for your daughter or son. It might be making sure that you perform that presentation the best that you possibly can and learn the tips and tricks that we use with athletes so that they can perform on game day. Every time I, I went into the corporate world, having transitioned from the sports world, I was always amazed that the things that we know that work, the science has proved the work, yeah. we're not using in the corporate world. I'm gonna put myself first, not because it's selfish, but actually my self-care plan is actually selfless because I need to be in the best position I can to care for the people that need my care. My three-legged stool is about physical activity, it's about recovery, and it's about nutrition. Well, I used to use it for my athletes because Obviously, burnout in an athletic world is called overtraining. And there's a lot of examples where, unfortunately, athletes have just pushed themselves too much and they go over the edge and they don't perform well. Well, when I try and visualize with my athletes a three-legged stool, it's about, okay, which one of those legs is not quite on the ground? Where's that solid foundation? Because the three-legged stool with all three legs on the ground is really solid. But if one of those legs is slightly not on, the whole thing is unstable. I would like to ask everyone to stand up again because there was some research that came out of Oxford Uni that showed that if you split your eight hour working day and stand for four of those hours, not non-stop, but broken throughout the eight hour day, it's the metabolic equivalent for the whole year of doing 10 marathons. So each of you in the pharmacy trade, in, in terms of being on your feet more, you're doing 10 marathons a year. So give yourselves a round of applause. So when we get to that point where we're actually priming our brains to think more positively, we also need to give it the time to recover and rest in our sleep. And in sport, we know from the researchers out there, really sleep is one of the most powerful performance enhancers that we have. Gratitude is one of the most well-researched area of this. And I think in sport, we do really well with it because we talk about either winning or learning. But I don't really see that being said that much in the corporate world. And unfortunately, our brains are a little bit like Velcro for the negative and a bit like Teflon for the positive. So if this happens to athletes that are having a team around them, like, like me, watching out for all of their vital signs, well, what about, what about this one here? What about the corporate athlete? What about the executives that you look after? What about yourselves? What about everyone in your life? When we live a life that's in tune with our genetic code, our DNA, we tend to look better. Chronic disease doesn't really snap us in the bum and we generally live a better life. So we need to do things to try and nudge ourselves and remind ourselves to do things throughout the day. When we're sprinting away from this beast, our brain is imprinting those memories and it means that our cognition is where it needs to be and without intensive exercise, without hitting that lactate threshold, we cannot get the best out of our brains. We cannot get the best out of the ecosystem that is our body. When we get all of these things that are no longer causing us to run furiously around and burn all of that stuff up and we just contain ourselves and we have all of those chemicals inside us that are rotting us from the inside out. 
So it's so important that we use that fight or flight, we use that mechanism for good. When you get that shitty email, do you go and run a lap or do you go and jump around or burn off any of that? You don't. It sits inside you and it melts you from the inside out. If that stressor is outside of your control, wash it away. Don't spend time worrying about it, fretting about it, dealing with it, because you can't control it. Most of these corporate athletes were more interested in the battery on their phone than they were their inner battery, their own self-care protocol, the way they were feeling. Actually, how often were they checking in on themselves rather than looking on their phone screen and seeing how much battery they've got left? You have a huge, huge impact in the happiness, in the health status of the people that matter to you the most. Adam Fraser talks about there are two types of people in the world. Some that light up the room when they walk in and others that light up the room when they walk out. And I didn't want to be the latter for the people that I love the most in the world. These tricks and tips, I promise you, will have an impact on you and the people that you love around. We must do this for ourselves if we're going to do the right thing for the people we love the most. So I really, really hope that when you do get up in the morning and when you think about how am I feeling, when your feet hit the floor, take a second. Don't pick up your phone, because remember now it's not going to be near your bed. But think, check in with yourself. How am I feeling? How are the legs of my stool? Am I balanced? Do I have a good foundation? Can I care for the people that need me the most? Or do I need to focus on one of these areas and then commit to it? Thank you so much for your time. I really, really appreciate it and have a wonderful conference.